there. I got to tell you something I found the other day uh, when I was on YouTube. Um, any wrestling fans out there? Huh? Anybody old like me used to watch fucking Tony Gurria and Larry Zabisco? Ivan Putski and Bulldog Brower and Pat Patterson and Ted DiBiase, the inter Intercontinental Champion. You know, Dusty Rhodes, Mr. Fuji, Mr. Saito, the Moon Dogs, George the Animal Steel, Superstar Billy Graham, Bob Backlund, Bruno San Martino, Greg the Hammer Valentine. I can't remember how many of these fucking guys I still remember. Tony Atlas, Jimmy Superfly Snooker. I still remember their finishing moves. Tony Atlas would just fucking basically do a military press with you. He'd just pick you up over his head and he'd fucking throw you. Right? Andre the Giant would just put his giant fucking size 48 foot. He'd throw you off the ropes and just stick it right in your face. Then he'd sit on you. Ivan Putski had the Polish hammer. Greg Valentine had the figure four leg lock. That's the first time I ever threw out my back. This kid, when I was in fourth grade, showed me how to do the figure four leg lock by putting me into it and it was fucking killing my knee. And I was trying to get up to, to get my free my leg from putting pressure on my kneecap. And that's the first time I fucked up my lower back. I've had a bad back since the lower, since the, uh, bad lower back since the, uh, the fourth grade. Um, Chief J. Strombo would do the fucking rain dance. That wasn't too fucking racist, was it? Once he did that, he went into this crazy fucking... He couldn't feel pain anymore, and then he kicked the shit out of you. Uh, all right, enough of that shit. So I was just looking up some of the old wrestling um, stuff that I used to watch. S.D. Jones, Special Delivery Jones. The guy never fucking won. He was the most coolest fucking guy ever. Um, anyways, Mr. Wonderful... Roddy Roddy Piper. <laughs> I fucking love all those guys. So anyways, um, I was I never heard of this before, but you have, it, those of you who aren't fans of wrestling, have uh, there's this thing called a shoot match, which is basically, you know, wrestling. It's sports entertainment. When I was a kid, they used to argue that it was real. And then finally they just said, no, it's fake. But, but what, what was great was once they said it was fake, they could actually talk about all the real pain that they go through. So I was kind of just watching some YouTube videos about that, and I came across this stuff called a shoot match. So I was like, what the hell is a shoot match? And a shoot match is basically a wrestling match where they're fake fighting, and then somebody gets pissed at somebody else, and it becomes a real fight. <laughs> and what usually happens from the few that I saw is if the person's just not a complete roid, roided up psycho, um... What it really is, is either somebody's not selling your moves, like I'm fake punching you and you're just acting like it's not hurting, so you're making me look like an asshole, or somebody, you know, you are, you're allowing somebody to throw you and do a move and they botch it and fuck, fuck you up and hurt you, and then you get mad. Um, I saw one with this guy, this kid was new and he went to do, execute some fucking throw and this guy was just a psycho he didn't look like he landed that bad and he got up and just beat the fuck out of this guy just threw him head first out of the ring the guy landed on his fucking head and immediately had a concussion then he picked the guy up and threw him into the metal stairs and this guy kept selling he didn't i guess he didn't have to sell the moves at that point but that one was fucking brutal but the funniest one that you got to see and i'm gonna have a link to it it's the great antonio versus antonio I hope I say it right so he doesn't come over and slap the shit out of me. Inaki, um, a Japanese guy. So the great Antonio is this guy. I, I can't even describe what he looks like. He looks like a fucking troll with a page boy haircut. And he's just ridiculously fat. And he's wearing the ugliest mustard colored yellow like sweatpants with these military boots on. Um just not a good looking person and he's uh wrestling this guy antonio anaki who's a japanese guy who looks like a fucking movie star you know he's got the old school movie star chin he's got the jack lord hawaii 50 fucking haircut he's in great shape so they start fucking wrestling and uh wrestling and you know 
the Japanese guy is, is being a fucking professional and the great Antonio, who I guess had a reputation for not selling people's moves and being selfish in the ring, you know, the Japanese guy would punch him in his fat stomach and he wouldn't even move. And then the, f- the fat dude would keep like punching his stomach like it's hard as a rock and people were laughing in the crowd. The fucking guy, like the Japanese guy throws him off the fucking ropes and the guy just sort of stops you know, and doesn't sell the fucking move. And the Japanese guy's looking at him like, what the fuck? And the crowd's laughing. You start seeing the Japanese dude looking at him like, dude, what the fuck? So long story short, they get a few minutes into the round. The Japanese guy has been selling everything the fat fuck's doing. The fat fuck's making the Japanese guy look like an idiot. So fat fuck gets the Japanese guy against the ropes, and he's punching almost like the back of this guy's neck super fucking hard and the guy takes like three of them before he finally like blocks the fourth one and then he just snaps like dude what like fuck this and he just stands up and just open hands slaps this fat fuck in the head as hard as you possibly can (laughs) and the fat page boy guy like turns his head it's fucking phenomenal and the japanese guy's going like going making those like come on let's fucking fight And the fat fuck's still kind of like thinking he's just going to take one. He slaps him in the fucking head again, then grabs his leg. Japanese dude just snaps, fucking throws him on his belly, boots him in the fucking head. Right now the ref is going like, whoa, whoa, hey, whoa. (laughs) So the fat fuck's crawling around like a dog. And the Japanese guy boots him in the head again. Now the fat guy is like fucking planking. He's laying down on the ground and the Japanese guy boots him in the head like another fucking six times. It's almost attempted murder. The fucking dude is a bloody mess. They finally just called a match. And um, it was one of the great pieces of justice I ever saw. I didn't feel bad for the guy at all when he was getting booted in the head. I was dying laughing. If you saw how hard this this fat fuck was punching this poor Japanese guy in the back of his neck. And the guy was taking it like a pro. And finally he was just like, what the? Because it was was like he was hitting him for real. Um, and he wasn't selling his moves. So you got, I'm, I'm going to um, have a link for it. If anybody else has some good ones up there, I, it's just a whole new part of YouTube that, uh, you know, if you're at work, if you're bored right now, just look it up yourself. Shoot matches, S-H-O-O-T matches. And uh, there's just some legendary ones. And, um, you know, as much as they talk to wrestlers and stuff, like I, I never hear them, you know, I always hear, you know, about doing the road and these these great matches that they had and, then, of course, they talk about, you know, you know, people getting the sickness, you know, getting addicted to painkillers and drugs and all that shit. They do all that type of shit. But um, nobody talks about all these fucking wrestling matches out there that uh, suddenly um, that suddenly became real, you know. So um, I don't know. I hope you enjoy it. That's all I can say.